Hi, Miss Jenna. Hi, Miss Jenna. Hello. Hi. Oh Lord, my first memory of Miss Jenna is locking into improv class and everyone was sitting down and she was about to pop with Colton, like I'm talking like labor any minute. Hair was a mess, no makeup. She's sitting on a stool and all of a sudden we're sitting around her and she just starts bawling her eyes out. Like I'm talking like uncontrollably sobbing. And I remember looking at the people around me and being like what is going on what happened did something bad happen and they were just like nah nah just go with it it's fine and I remember fake smiling and looking at her and being like what did I get myself into for being nice to me you teaching us welcome to the tea party when I was two and I just remember her being so nice and just smiling all the time and I was so happy to be dancing and I just wanted to be just like her when I grew up and I still do. When I was probably like four years old and cheerleading with um, Jenna and being put up in stunts. Seeing her at the TNJ round nine dance recital and learning the salute combo. I was on rec and I knew a few people on team and they told her about me. And I just remember Jenna being so welcoming and nice to me. And I just remember Miss Jenna being this close to my face up in the front of the room just like screaming and cheering on everybody. And it really made me feel good about myself. And I felt so much more comfortable from that point on. When I was seven years old, it was a hip hop class, I think. And I remember walking in the room and there was this woman there and she was saying hi to everyone. She was so, so sweet. And she had tons of energy, tons and tons of energy. Um, I've never met her before. And I've never even taken a dance class before, but it was just so welcoming and like, I don't know, it was just a good place to be. <laughs> Meeting her when I was four. I had just moved here and I came to tour the dance studio. So uh, Miss Jenna was actually holding a combo class and she let me join. And it was, I, like, I fell in love instantly when she stood up for me and it wasn't just because she stood up for me she said some of the nicest things someone could ever say like she said that I was the, one of the kindest people and it was just really meant the world to me that she said stuff like that especially for a beginning dancer like me I was in rec class and I was three years old my first memory of Mrs. Jenna would definitely be my first summer dance camp eight years ago um, where she helped me grow more as a dancer in four days than I had in 13 whole years, which was then when I made my final decision to go dance for her at her studio. Um, she was so positive and happy, and she pushed me so hard, like crazy hard. Uh, there are definitely a few other memories that happened a little bit before this time, but this one definitely changed my life as a dancer and changed my love for dance completely, so I thank her for that a lot. I first walked into the studio and I had my first class. I was really nervous but excited at the same time because I didn't know if she was going to be mean, if she was going to be nice. I didn't know if I would know anyone and I got really nervous and then afterwards I was like that was awesome and I wanted to go back. My first memory of Miss Jenna is when I was sitting by the front desk in a split to try and impress her when she walked by. Three and taking combo classes, my dad was late to pick me up. I started to cry, so she took me behind the desk and we colored until he got there. Summer boot camp when I first started dancing with the studio. Um, we didn't have a space yet, and we were alternating between the Montessori school and the top of the library right down the road from the studio. It was very hot up there. And she taught a combo to Ain't Got No Shorty by Sean Kingston. I think three years ago, when Chansey brought me to a technique class and I was stretching with everyone and I didn't really tell her that I was coming and then all of a sudden we were stretching and she sees me like stretching well and like being flexible and she goes, who's that? I want her on team. 2017, right before you guys uh, had your recital, I came to the studio to teach uh, uh, some ballet classes. Yeah, and I remember Miss Jenna was teaching and she just like stopped and came out with 
the biggest smile ever and it was just like it, it just felt like really nice to be greeted by a person like just with a huge smile and you know and being like so positive and also like she was like having her hair like you know how she has her hair curly like this it was very cute my first memory of miss jenna is my first three weeks of being at TNJ, she wasn't there because she had just had colon. So one of the Mondays, I walked in and she was on the other side of the lobby and she sprinted across and bear hugged me and pretty much knocked me over and I never even met her in my life. When I signed up for tumbling about five years ago, I think, and I got kind of like dragged out of the car by my siblings <laughs> to go into the studio. When I was about seven years old, I went to dance camp at The Next Generation and I had no idea what I was doing <laughs> because I was so young and inexperienced and everyone around me had been dancing there for a while and knew what they were doing. <laughs> so I was just there trying my best, probably looked awful, but it's okay because we stuck with it and here we are. <laughs> Jenna welcomed me right in and I just remember feeling like so, she had a big smile on her face, she was so nice. And I just remember feeling like this is where I was meant to be. I remember nationals, like their nationals dances were playing on the TV and I was looking at them dancing and I just knew that like TNJ was the right spot for me and me. When I was really young in the studio and I was like four in the studio, and I would take combo classes, like little combo classes, and I'd always see her around the studio, and I'd always say hi to her. That's probably my first memories of Miss Jenna. Her summer dance camp when I was about five, and that was back when it was held in the Lansing Community Center, so way back then. And one day we were doing ballet, and I did not want to participate, so I sat out. And then Jenna came up to me and asked me if I wanted to dance with her. I was over the moon excited. Yes, I wanted to dance with Miss Jenna. She's the coolest person ever. And I remember going home that night feeling so happy and I just couldn't believe how much she cared about the fact that I wasn't dancing and she wanted me to. And from that day, I wanted to be just like her. My first memory, I actually cannot remember because I was so young, but I do remember that I would always be in classes not taught by Miss Jenna and I could not wait to get older so that I could be in Miss Jenna's classes. So I walked in super stressed and Miss Jenna was there and she was just so like full of energy and bubbly and super happy and welcoming. And My first memory with Miss Jenna is dance camp before the first year I joined team. I remember her making it so fun and loving all the combos. She would walk into the combo class and we would get super excited. I would describe Miss Jenna as a like a cool mom, a superhero. She is the most energetic, bubbly person I know, and she wears her heart on her sleeve. Super, super energetic and crazy, but also very hardworking, creative, and inspiring. Energetic, loving, and extremely hardworking. Nice, loving, and amazing dance teacher. She makes you feel special. She can make anybody feel special. She pushes people to be at their best, and when they're not at their best, she knows it. With a ball of energy, uh, she never stops going. She's always moving, always thinking about the next thing she's going to do. As somebody who pushes us to be the absolute best we possibly can, but she loves us all so much, and um, she makes us feel so welcomed at TNJ and always lifts us up. Encouraging, she's always there for us and she's crazy. Intense, but in the best way possible. Kind, funny, supportive, and loving. Caring and loving. I'd also describe her as crazy. Loving, kind, and funny. She'll always make us laugh no matter what. I would describe Miss Jenna as a very beautiful, loving, and caring person. Really kind, giving, loyal kind of person, but also assertive when she needs you to do something. She's super motivational. Like, when you're on stage, you can hear her all the way in the back of the audience and, like, in the back of your head. Miss Jenna is an amazing person. I think overall, like, as a woman, as a mom, as a daughter, as a sister, you know, but pretty much as a mentor 
and as a leader to all of us uh, she's just a great person to be around she always sees the positive side of everything and she always challenge us to be better because she truly believes that we can always give ourselves the best right so we can get the best back and miss jenna is caring loving crazy she's probably the most positive person i know about everything like literally everything could be going completely downhill with like a prop or something just you know it's like crazy something she came up with and She's always like, nah, it's fine, guys. This is going to go perfect. We're going to figure this out. And she usually always does, like literally every time. She is funny and very kind. She's really sweet, and she always makes everyone laugh. So she's very funny, and she's really easy to talk to. Funny, pretty, nice, and <laughs> scary. <laughs> Bold, creative, obviously. Um, she's also one of the most giving and careless people that I know. But what I most love about her is she's very, very tough on us. But in the end, she makes us so much better. She's the best dance teacher that I have ever had. She's a little crazy, but she loves all her students and is very encouraging. Insane, for one. I think everybody knows that. Um, creative, uh, motivated. Uh, very loving and caring no matter what. Honey, hardworking, and kind. She puts everyone else before herself. She is the most selfless and caring person ever. Yeah, she's kind of the best. <laughs> the bond within all of the students and all of the staff, we are just one huge family. We're one big family. We're not just a dance studio, we're a family. Everyone of the next generation is family and like a family legitimate family there. The family aspect. It is a family. Because everyone is one big family. The family we have. It is like being part of a family. It's like a family to me. Like one big crazy family. Is that we all love each other and we're all a family. We're all a family and we all love each other so much. But we're a family and the connections that we build are lifelong. And I always know that my TNJ family will be there for me no matter what. It's the family aspect that we all have. Even after you graduate, you're still a part of a family. You still are included in everything. And no matter how far away from each other you live, you're still a big family no matter what. Everyone is also supportive and they push each other and we, no one ever gives up. I really go to anyone for advice or help and not feel judged. How close we are. We are here to cry in each other's shoulders pick each other back up. We are always there for each other. And Jenna makes sure that's a tight knit relationship. It's the fact that it brings so many people together from all different schools and it creates this gigantic family where we all support each other and care about each other. The community, we always stick together for each other. And no matter what, uh, like, we are there for each other. We're the fun that we get to have both in and out of the studio. You're not going to be judged for your flaws or judged for anything. Like, everyone loves you for you. <laughs> in terms of dance, TNJ is so known for the performance quality. Um, when you watch a TNJ dance, you're watching a show. Something unique about the next generation is all of our props. We can all be um, in different styles and... Whatever we want to do is like it's different um, and unique. I would say our awesome props made by our papas and prop moms. Definitely our crazy partner work, stunts, and lifts. Miss Jenna and the Next Generation have not only created amazing dancers, but amazing friendships that no one will ever forget. She helped me see how much I love dance. I'm grateful for Miss Jenna because she has always been a role model for me and she is always there if I need someone to talk to. If she wasn't around, I wouldn't be pushed to my limits every single day and I wouldn't be the dancer I am now. She brought me my dance family that I love and miss so much. 
I'm grateful for Miss Jenna because she's always down there for me and I wouldn't be the dancer that I am today without her. Jenna is a person that you can go to with any kind of problem or situation and she will just make you feel better and give you what you need to keep going. She never lets us give up and always encourages us to do our best. She always pushes me and she's like, she's always there for me and everything. I'm really happy that I'm on the competition team this year and I'm so happy that I'm doing all the classes and I think during this time when we're all apart that she's been so motivational and inspiring to us and really kept us going and given us something to do. She is really nice and she is very good at giving us tips when we are dancing. She is a great role model to me also. I can go to Jenna with anything if I need help advice. Once I came back and I started working and seeing just how much energy and hard work went into everything that's done for the studio, I appreciate it so much more. She's built me as a person. She's like a second mom. And she's made me such a better dancer and she has pushed me, pushed me through so many challenges and obstacles and she's always been there supporting me throughout my whole, for my whole dance career. I could write a book. Um, she completely changed my life at age 17. I do not think I would be where I am now without Miss Jenna. I would not be as motivated. I would not be teaching. I probably wouldn't be dancing as much as I am. I am grateful for Miss Jenna because if I hadn't found the next generation, I probably wouldn't even be a dancer and without her, I wouldn't be the same dancer I am today. Um, I feel like she took me in and helped me grow so much as a dancer when I thought I might have to like not dance. Dance in general, but that has been provided by you. It's made me into who I am today. It has lifted me up in times where I was not feeling great about myself. Just in really hard times, dance has always been there for me. You've created a safe space for me and I couldn't be more thankful. She made me the dancer I am today and showed me how amazing and hardworking dance is. Um, eight years ago, when I came to this dance studio, she never let me give up. Uh, you know, she saw potential in me. She pushed me super hard, harder than ever been pushed before. I thought I'd be able to even go, you know. Um, and it really shaped me into the person I am today. And she never gave up on me, even when I didn't think I was capable of doing something. She has led me to be the person that I am now and the dancer that I am now. She has helped me through everything and even the tough times, she's been there for me and she's the reason why I'm still dancing today. Because she believes in me. She's helped me face over my fears and she's also helped with my improvement in dance. She was always there for me and pushes me to be my best self. And when she finally brought me out of my shell, um, it was just life changing. Oh. I miss you so much and I hope to see you back in the studio soon and you're awesome. Personally, I appreciate so much for her to take that. She took this leap of faith without even like knowing me, just moving from another country. And she just went like, yeah, like just go ahead. Here's my kids. I trust you. Just like teach them ballet class. And I think that was like super cool. But also I appreciate that she supports a lot that I still dance. and that she comes to my performances and it, it, you know, you can't find that in a lot of places. Because I would not be the person that I am today. She kept me dancing. Um, even when I wasn't sure if I was going to keep going, she told me I needed to. And I thank her every single day for that. Something I would like to tell Miss Jenna is thank you. I'm forever thankful for the role model she has been to me and the amazing impact she's had on my life. So thank you. Thank you, Jenna, for pushing me and believing in me because I really did need that. I can't wait to see her when this is all over. She's a great dance teacher and like a her dance studio is like a second home to me. Because I miss her so much and can't wait to get back in the studio with her. I would like to tell her that she's awesome and she does anything for us with like anything we need and she'll always be there for us. There really isn't a day that goes by where 
I don't think about those days when I was at TNJ and wish I was still dancing with everybody. Um, it was just such an amazing experience. I wish I could redo it all the time. So I would thank her. I would like to tell Miss Shanna that I miss her a lot and I really hope that I'm back in the studio with her soon. Everything happens for a reason and I know this situation is not expected or anything we would want for this time of the year, but we will come back stronger. I love her and I miss her and I hope we can be together again soon. So, thank you, Miss Jenna. I miss her so much and I can't wait to get back on stage and do all the routines we had from this year. I miss her very much and I'm so excited to get back in the studio. Thank you for pushing me very, very hard and making me a better dancer every single day. And I cannot wait till this is all over so we can go back into the studio and work super, super hard and be number one. I miss her so much and I can't wait to be back in the studio. And she's so amazing. I want to thank Miss Jenna for doing online dance classes now because I miss everyone and this way we can be together. Times are rough. It's getting real out here, man. <laughs> but you're gonna get through this. The studio is gonna get through this. We're all gonna get through this. And we're, we have so many people in your corner, girl. Everything's gonna be fine. We're gonna be back in the studio soon. Um, keep choreographing. Keep doing crazy things in your house. Keep making nay. Try these crazy tricks. Uh I really like the um, dance that she made, Chicken Pie Honey Bunch. I would like to tell her I miss her and love her, and I can't wait to see her. Especially thank you from the seniors. Uh, this is really hard for us especially, but you've made it almost normal. I love and miss her so, so much, and I hope that everything is going well in this time, or the best that it can be. It's going to be okay, and when it is, I promise I will come and visit. <laughs> Even during this really hard time, you're still there for us, and I really, really appreciate it. That I love you, Miss Jenna, and I'm so sad that we can't all be together at this time, and I'm just hoping that we all get over this soon and can dance together. So pretty much thank you. Thank you, Miss Jenna, for being so awesome. Thank you for keeping us together. Thank you for being the glue that it's always there to, you know, like whatever situation it is, you fix it with a big smile without expecting anything back. I'd just like to say to Jenna, I love you so much. Thank you for being my best friend and my biggest role model. I love you, Miss Jenna. I love you, Miss Jenna. I love you. I love you, Miss Jenna. Love you, Miss Jenna. I love you, and I miss you so much. I love you, Miss Jenna. Love and miss you. I love you, Miss Jenna. 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 Love you so much. Love, Alex. Love you, Miss Jenna. I love you, Miss Jenna. I love you, Miss Jenna. I can't wait to see you. I love you so, so much, Miss Jenna. I love you so much. And I love you so, so, so much. I love you, Miss Jenna. 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 Mwah. I love you, Miss Jenna. I love you, Miss Jenna. I love you, Miss Jenna. Love you. I love you. We love you, Mom. I love you, Miss Jenna. I love you, Miss Jenna.